Boni Island, in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, generally known for its industrial activities and more importantly recognized for its immense biodiversity. From the ground up or the ocean floor up, biodiversity increases soil formation, nutrient storage, energy storage and the breakdown of toxins and pollutants. But our biodiversity is suffering tremendously from man's exploit. This ravaging of our ecosystem continued until the Nigerian liquefied natural gas NLNG and the communities of Finima and Boni came to a consensus to establish a park called the Finima Nature Park. Finima Nature Park was founded in the year 1999 established by Nigeria liquefied natural gas, which is the NLNG, with the foresight that increased industrialization here and industrial activities within the island is going to cause a, an impact in the ecosystem. So there had to be a deliberate measure to protect the biodiversity of the Boni Kingdom. And the first organization that managed it then was the Niger Delta Wetland Center, which was then taken over by Nigerian Conservation Foundation. Till date, yeah, Nigerian Conservation Foundation have been the management till date. Finima Nature Park is uh, 1,000 hectares of land. Now, it's divided into what we call the 700 core areas and the 300 uh, buffer zone. Presently, we have 21 uh, park officers, which we refer to as park rangers and park guards, as the case may be. And these 21 officers are divided into different areas of the park, which we refer to as bits. We presently have five bits. We have the Agalanga bit, we have the Agaja bit, we have the Sabikiri bit, we have the first walkway bit, and then we have what we refer to as the resource center, where visitors have been received and educated. Some of the animals that you can find in the nature park include reptiles, which includes uh, different species of snakes. We have gray mamba, we have uh, forest cobra, we have rock python, vine snake. We have the crocodile, the monitor lizards. And then in terms of uh, other species, we have uh, a single primate, which is uh, the mona monkey. I think it's more common in any of uh, Nigeria tropical forest. And then we have uh, other species such as uh, bush bark, those are antelopes, bush bark, dica, and the likes. And then civet cat, it's actually a nocturnal animal and more active at night. And then coming to birds, we have a lot of bird species here. Um, of our beautiful bird is the pea fowls. And we have the pigeons, the white-faced whistling dogs, the hooded vultures, a lot of them, but to mention a few. To make this environment conducive for the wildlife we have here, the management engages in constant planting of trees, being that trees are the habitat to these animals. We plant a lot of trees to ensure they have a place to dwell. We also um, put up the fruit trees to ensure they have food to eat since we don't feed them. It's a natural reserve, so of course they are moving freely in their natural habitat. So we ensure we have um, trees for them to dwell in, especially the fruit trees where they get their fruits from. As a park ranger, you protect the conservation that is the fauna and the flora because a lot of uh, poachers are entering the reserve.
to you know destroy plants which is not good because you see these vegetations you are seeing they are protecting a lot of hazard that is supposed to happen in Borne like the flay that the company are bringing up it is this this reserve that is absorbing all the dangerous disease that is supposed to happen to humanity in Boni Island. So that is the more reason I work here as a park guard and to protect not only the vegetation and the animal, also human lives. We protect human the visitors that come here, tourists that come here. We make sure they come here safe and live here safe. What makes this nature reserve quite unique is the admirable efforts they put in educating the community on environmental and waste management. Generally, the world at large needs awareness and education. Nothing grows, nothing changes without education. And so hence we want to carve out from the odd doings in the environment. We need education, we need enlightenment. We are going around schools to talk about global warming and climate change. Have you heard of that word? Yes! yes. What happens to the carbon dioxide you breathe out? The plants take you. That's what I can say and I will tell to everybody around me is that we should learn to stop deforestating and learn more to our forest state. That we should stop the littering and save the environment. And lastly, I want to thank them for coming here to lecture us about everything and I hope that they come again. The Finima Nature Park hosts about 20,000 visitors annually, comprising of local and international tourists, therefore boosting ecotourism in Nigeria. And the park has also perfected a balance between the industrialization and the forest ecosystem on the island. Do have a wonderful time exploring this serene nature reserve.